Hi guys, happy Monday everyone. Um, today we're going to be talking about um, sometimes having to play characters that seem or feel very different than who you are um, yourself, um, how you're navigating this world, your personality. And so maybe you have felt sometimes challenged about yeah, feeling like maybe you're more of a sweet type of person and you have to play an angry person or you're more like on the angry side and you need to play someone that's super mellow and that's challenging or you know let's go to the extreme you're having to play like someone who's killing and perpetrating pain in other people and there's no way that you could um, possibly do that like you're gonna play yeah like a perpetrator of any kind um, and, and you can't relate to that in any way. And so you may feel like it's really challenging. And that can be difficult because um, you're passionate about your art, you're passionate about acting, and you really want to do your best. You really want to honor your characters with truth. And um, you may feel like, ugh, this is so far from me that I, I don't know how to do this in the best possible way. I don't know how to do this with truth because I don't have this in me. So it's difficult. So you may have tried and you might remember that in the past to push or you may have tried to say, okay, well, there's no killer in me. So what does a, cool, a killer look like? And so I need to kind of imitate a killer. I need to do a stereotype of a killer or of a racist or of a you know whatever extreme that you have to play that's really far from you you may feel like you just um need to figure out what the what what does this kind of person look like and what's their energy in general and so you'll get an idea of what this type of character is because you can't find it inside of you you'll get an idea and then you'll just do that so you'll you'll just um act that but it doesn't come from you, um, so you, you can only go from the outside because you don't have it inside of you, right? And so when you've done that, um, it might have not felt great because it doesn't come from you, so it feels like forcing, feels like imitating, feels like doing a caricature of a human being, and you might not feel much freedom or fulfillment, and you might also have felt like this is too far from me or I don't respect this kind of character. And therefore, like I throw the towel, I'll go to the audition or I'll do it. But it's kind of a there's already a place in you that says, I don't, I don't care. I'm not going to get this because it's too far from me. It's not me. And so in a way, you put the energy in or you put tape in, you put the, the work in, but you're not really showing up because part of you thinks there's no point. This is too far from me or I don't respect this type of character. So um, I know all of that can be frustrating and especially if you're really um, wanting to lean into your creativity and in a way part of you knows that if the character's really feeling far from you, there'll be some juicy creativity that's going to be needed because it's not close and so it's not who you are, you're going to have to stretch into something else. And so what I would like to say about this topic is reframe a little bit um, your thinking or your perception around the fact that oh I'm more a blue type of guy or blue type of girl and this is completely red and therefore it's not me and so it's gonna be difficult or it's gonna be far or it's gonna be uncomfortable or I'm gonna have to fake it and it can't come from me right and I would like to say that actually as a human being if any one of us is feeling one way all of us can feel that humanity so I'll take it to the extreme right away if someone can be a killer you can be a killer so the killer instinct is part of humanity it's part of every single one of us it doesn't mean we act on it, but it's inside of you. If you're more the type of person who's really sweet and always pleasing and more on the victim side of the spectrum, you may think that there's no part of you that can be perpetrating or angry. Actually, it's quite the contrary. You're not split from that. You have them both. You might, as you may have been a victim of something, split yourself away from 
that other part, which is the perpetrator, but it's part of your humanity and it's time for you to reclaim it. Like you can be angry, you can be sad, you can be happy, you can't be, you can be all of the things. You're a whole full human being. You may not have access to all of your humanity, but that's your responsibility as an actor. Your job as an actor is to be able to cultivate an instrument, uh, instrument being the, the, you know, the thing with which you play as an artist, which is your head, your heart, your soul, your body, your arms, your legs, like ev everything that makes you, you. Your responsibility is to cultivate an instrument that will be fine tuned, that will be whole, that will have access to all of its energy, all of its parts, all of its different type of human pockets. If you're going to offer an instrument that's just the version of you that's social, or just your the ego version of you, or just the confident part of you, or just the nice part of you, unfortunately, you're giving up to all the rest, which is on the other side of the spectrum. You have all the colors inside of you as any human does. Again, it doesn't mean you use them, but you have them. So of course, if you don't have access to them, if these colors have been repressed for a very long time, you might be having a pickle as an actor because you might be like, oh, well, I don't have access to anger, so how, how do I go there? So that's the kind of work that we do in our community. We help actors undo the conditioning that has forced you to behave a certain way, to think a certain way, to feel a certain way, so that you can progressively go through that conditioning and back into the core of who you are. And in the core of who you are is a human being, whole and complete, capable of feeling all of the things that any human being can feel. All of it is available right there. So your job as an actor is to reclaim all of that, to freely be able to feel all of what makes you human in your particular way. My anger is not going to be the same as your anger, etc., etc. But you have it all available. And it's important that you do the work of freely being that whole truth that you are. Because if you don't, the problem is you're only having a little piece of your instrument that's available for you to act with, to create with, to make art with. And it's very limited compared to everything that's available inside of you. Which is why in our community, I'm not a teacher, I can't teach you acting because it's just about making sure that you can reset to be your full, authentic, free self. And from there, you can be, embody, and defend any type of character in any circumstance because it comes from you. So it makes sense to you. So it's easy, it's your energy that you're just enabling to go in a specific direction, which are the circumstances. So I hope that makes sense for all of you. If you have any questions, let us know. If you're wanting more information about our community, you can download a free guide. It's called um, Stop Trying to Be a Good Actor, so you have a chance of being great. Um, that's free. You can find it in the link in the bio or in the about section on Facebook. And also, um, if you're feeling like you're really wanting to get to the depth uh, uh, part of this work, if you're wanting to jump all the way in, <clears throat> let us know. Send us a DM and we'll definitely send you some more information. All right. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.